of good morning and good afternoon as well as good evening today this adhikari has come with a new topic this is barriers of communication and barriers of communication means how the communication does not take place how the disturbances take place in the communication barriers of communication can be often realized due to background noise and disturbances barriers means misunderstanding not taking place of communication we often experience communication miscommunication and misunderstanding while talking to somebody reading a book or even listening to a podcast or radio at that time we do not get the meaning we misunderstand the meaning we miscommunicate and that is called barriers this happens because of barriers that often get in the way of communication process anything that filters blocks or distorts the message during the process of encoding sending and decoding is called communication barrier if we send the message and if it is not understood that is communication barrier if the receiver does not understand the meaning that is communication barrier communication barrier can be the result of the background noises right it is essential to remove the barriers of communication but it is too hard to do so everyone wants to remove the barriers and sp speaker generally want to have wants to have barrier less communication there are types of barriers now what are the types of barriers there are various types of barriers but even though various types of barriers are there we can minimize it we can bring it mainly in two types of barriers so communication barriers are mainly of two types personal barrier and environmental barrier personal barriers arise anything related to the persons involved in the communication right and then environmental barriers are related to organizational structure workplace culture and communication system right such barriers may occur at any stage of communication process of encoding and decoding channel selection and transmission of the message how we select the channel how we transmit the message how we encode the message how we send the message how we decode means interpret the message it depends on the just um, barriers of environment right such barriers can be divided into four under four headings again these barriers these two types of personal barriers and environmental barriers are divided under four headings first is psychological physical or environmental barriers right okay physical or environmental barriers are caused by time place space and the noise in the communication environment if there is a just um, communicating noisy environment and communication do not, does not take place all kinds of noises and disturbances obstruct the messages no disturbances should be there no uh, 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 obstructions should be there no noises should be there in the process of communication the stands between the communicators and also negatively impacts the communication process if someone is living far away and the communicator is too far and that can have the barriers in communication negative impacts that can brings negative impact we have to work around such barriers and minimize the distractions to get the message across because we cannot escape these barriers but we have to minimize such distractions right physical barriers affect both the sender and the receiver sender of the message and the receiver of the message can be disturbed by the physical barriers language or semantic barriers second topic is a uh, sub topic is language or semantic barriers it is the barriers of meaning understanding the meaning it is a barrier of the level of understanding of the language even if we communicate using a channel language shared language same language getting the right message to the audience process poses a difficulty right message to the audience does not become so easy it is mainly because the words have multiple meanings and the receivers often interpret them from their own perspectives and right moreover certain words and expressions mean differently in different regions and cultures for example the sentence she is wearing braces in american english means she is wearing protective metallic string in her teeth 
where is the same sentence in British English means that she is wearing trousers trapped in the suspenders so these sort of differences in the meaning of the language also have become the becomes a kind of barriers in communication another is cultural barriers culture are different we cannot avoid the culture we are brought the way we are lived in a culture so this cultural barriers is impossible to remove it is the barriers of understanding the language that affect due to the culture people interpret messages based on their cultural specific beliefs values and attitudes cultural differences can affect communication significantly nonverbal communication cues gestures postures space can be interpreted differently from one culture to another in mexico hugging in the first time meeting is common whereas in asian culture it is acceptable only after being intimate one in mexican culture for the first time meeting they hug one another it is very common and it is understandable it is acceptable whereas in asian culture hugging for the first time meeting is not acceptable it is to be accepted quite later on when the people become quite intimate saying yes in japanese culture does not necessarily mean i agree with you but it might just mean yes i am listening to you so these are the cultures and these cultural differences can give the different meaning in of the understanding of the language another one is psychological and personal barriers psychological state of the communicators sender and receiver can impede effective communication emotions moods attitudes and feelings vary from person to person and significantly can impact our relationships emotions like anger happiness fear and sadness positively and negatively impact our communication with our conversation with others if we are angry while the time of speaking the just listeners do not listen well and if we are afraid language cannot be clear in sadness it does not have the positive understanding of the language right so communicators level of education and understanding has significant bearing in communication what is the level of the education of the communicators and what is the level of the audience that also brings a kind of better situation to understand or to ignore the language the communication becomes comfortable only by the speaker's attitudes to one another if there is a positive attitude better communication takes place if there is a negative attitude and the worse communication takes place now minimizing barriers of communication how we minimize eliminating barriers is the must desired goal and the communicators can best minimize the barriers if they plan well and be more proactive during the communication no one wants to have the barriers in the communication so it is a desired effect desired goal of everyone communicators have to be prepared with a well planned with a proactive during the communication system right to minimize the barriers the following tips can minimize the potential barriers and enhance the communication effectively and see what are the tips make sure that our message is relevant and purposeful we must be clear that message is relevant it is purposeful it is relevant we should be clear about who is communicating to whom and we are just okay talking and what the propose about it send a clear and concise and complete message while communicating or minimizing barriers we must send clear message we must send concise message complete messages and then only it becomes easy must communication barriers results due to the lack of clarity in language if there is a lack of clarity in language and there is always the barriers right to overcome such barriers we need to choose such and familiar words and avoid using words that are complex and less frequently used short words simple words familiar words often used words must be used to avoid the barriers of communications now understand who we are communicating with so we need to understand who you are communicating with and then we need to use our language our most important way of eliminating barriers of communication is to know our audience our receivers for example we may talk to our friends in a different way from the way we talk to our parents because 
we use formal informal language and slang words while talking to our friends and the groups we is we use formal language polite words while talking to our parents with the parents with the seniors right it means we need to know we need to be aware of the audience ages education level educational uh, and the educational level mentality and emotional state to have the clear communication and avoid the barriers maintain appropriate tone style and over overall courtesy this is another start tips it is just it is not just what we are and what we see that matters but how we see is most important because seeing is a good is, is a good a better process of transferring the message and what we see is not important. How we see is important. Process of saying. The message delivered with aggressive and overbearing tone. Lose the attention, receiver's trust, attention and sympathy. We should not become aggressive while speaking. We should not be overbearing in our tones while speaking to get the attention and sympathy of the audience. A polite and courteous tone not only helps us establish a good rapport, means relationship, with the receiver but it also helps us gain the audience trust and confidence select appropriate channel or medium we should select appropriate channel and medium while communicating the channel can be formal channel can be informal and it can be official if our message is very sensitive we want to choose formal and official channel it depends on the type of the message and the audience with whom we are talking about right this is how Courtesy and appropriate style and tone helps us to minimize the barriers of language and ask for and provide feedback when we are just communicating we should ask and then we should provide feedback right feedback is the most important way of communication effectively feedback is the only way of ensuring that the message has been received by the audience in face-to-face -face communication feedback is instantly available through the facial expressions the receiver's facial, receiver's facial expressions often tell whether or not the message has been received. So, feedback gives a process of uh, minimizing the message of communication. Now, main points of communication that a communication and is missed over there, right? Communication is a dynamic and constantly involving process. It is changeable. It is characterized by the exchange of information. Mutual understanding is there. Gaining feedback and social interaction is there in communication. Communication involves the process of designing, sending and receiving messages through the appropriate channel. Business communication can be of three types, verbal, nonverbal, and then visual. We can improve our communicative skills by planning ahead, speaking clearly, speaking slowly, using appropriate body gestures, body language, and visual aids. Anything that filters, blocks, or distorts the message or information during the process of encoding, sending, and decoding is called communication barriers. And such barriers can be physical barriers, psychological barriers, semantic barriers, cultural barriers, and organizational barriers. And all these barriers must be avoided. Now, how to minimize these barriers? See, the process of minimizing the barriers are designing and sending the relevant and purposeful messages on time sending clear message concise message and complete message understanding the needs of the audience is another process of minimizing the barriers of communication maintaining appropriate tone appropriate style appropriate courtesy to the audience to the speaker that is another process of minimizing barriers of communication asking for and providing feedback is the last step of minimizing barriers these are all some of the ideas of minimizing barriers and one points and some of the tips of barriers of communication and what barriers of communications are so listen this video and read the slides and enjoy it thank you